Winners, muck kickers, champions in life. Vincent Rose here, the Fat Killer with H2G Fitness, coming to you from my patio. And I'm ready to roll with you guys, and I'm excited about this topic because it's a funny story, but it's a true story, okay? And I wanted to tell you guys the story about the first tattoo I ever got. Almost. <laughs> I've always taken this whole getting a tattoo thing very, 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 very seriously. Whatever you put on your body is permanent, right? It's stuck with you for life. And I guess there's ways that you can go about taking the tattoo off. Uh, but they're not very pleasant. And I don't, from what I understand, uh, think that they're very effective, right? You can tell something used to be there. But I always wanted a tattoo. I always wanted to get some ink on me. And there was a lot of times that I almost... Got a tattoo, and then I punked out every single time because my whole deal was this. If I'm going to put something on me for life and it's permanent, I want it to be something that means something, right? Where I grew up, there were a lot of people that would get home tattoos, and whenever you get a home tattoo, you can tell that you got a home tattoo, and you're stuck with it for life, baby. I got a lot of buddies walking around my old neighborhood who have tattoos on them that it's like... Oh my goodness gracious, what were you thinking? I wasn't thinking. I was 15 years old. I missed school. My buddy had a tattoo gun, and I got my first home tattoo. And I'm like, let me know how that works out for you, pal. So I've always wanted some ink, but I wanted it to be something that looked cool. I wanted it to be something that was heartfelt. I wanted it to be something that meant something to me. And uh, I just didn't want to put something on my body for the heck of it. Males in my family, uh, typically my last name is Rose, they would get a tattoo on their left forearm of a rose. And I thought about that, but at the time, I still had an employee mindset, and I was like, if I walk into a job interview with a rose on my forearm, I'm not getting hired. <laughs> so I was like, eh, maybe I shouldn't do that. So anyways, there was about four or five instances where I almost got a tattoo, thought I was going to go get it done, and then backed out of it the very last minute kind of a thing. However, the before I actually did get a tattoo, the one that I came the closest to getting, and I'll tell you why I didn't get it in the end, and it's just because I couldn't find a cool print of it, but I was over at a buddy's house one night named Rob Huneman, right? And there was a guy that was there by the name of Marshall Plotner, and he started telling a story, right? We were hanging out late night. We had just got done making phone calls. It was a business meeting, and he started telling a story. And he started telling a story about sharks, right? And he was talking about the nature of a shark and that if you get a shark and you put it in a tank that's not adequate for it to grow to its full potential, it won't grow to its full potential. Its organs will keep getting bigger, but it will stunt its growth. It will never reach the full size, the full potential that it's able to reach because the tank is too small. And he started relaying that to people in life. They put themselves in this tank. They put themselves in this imaginary box. And yeah, they keep getting older, but they never reach the potential that they could truly reach because in their mind, their tank is too small. Same as the shark. He goes on to talk about these sharks and he talks about from the moment that they are born to the moment that they die, they have to stay in constant motion. A shark never quits moving. Now, there are some species that are able to stay still, but for the most part, most sharks, once they're born, they stay in constant motion to the day that they die because the way that they breathe is they move. It's the way that they survive, right? So when a shark is born, it starts moving. And the moment it ceases to stop moving, it dies because it's hard for it to breathe. It can breathe sitting still, but it's much more work for it to do that. And so they'll just move. So when a shark is born, it gets moving. It does everything that it has to do until it's the end of its shark's life. And then it stops moving whenever it dies. When he told me this, my blood started boiling, right? Because he said it with a lot of passion. He drew this story out. And I mean, it was just a bad to the bone. Man, you need to be a shark in life, right? You were put here for a purpose. You find that purpose. You start moving in the pursuit of that purpose. And you don't quit, baby, until it's the end of your days. By the end of this uh, story, I was motivated as I'll get. I'm like, I've been moving. I'm staying moving. I ain't going to stop moving. I'm going to accomplish my goals. I'm a shark. I'm getting a tattoo of a shark, is what I thought I was going to do. I didn't find any cool shark tattoos, and I didn't want to put something on my body. And then I have to explain this story. Every single time somebody said, hey, why'd you get a shark? Let me tell you. That's a lot of combos that I would be having for the rest of my life, so I didn't end up getting it. But I think we can learn a lot from the shark, right? Sharks have a purpose, and it's to live out a shark's life. And they keep moving until the day that they die to accomplish it. I recommend that you do the same. 
Also, if a shark is in a tank that is too small, it still will, for the most part, get to the size that it should, but it does stunt its growth because it is kind of encapsulated in this tank and it will not reach its full potential. How does that relay over to us? We have a mental tank that we contain ourselves in. Here's the cool thing, you can expand your tank. If you do, you will reach your full potential. If you do not, you will stunt your growth and therefore you will stunt the calling on your life. I wouldn't do that. Ha ha, I got a shark ta tattoo. Josh Sanchez, that's good stuff. Anyways, that is the story of the first tattoo that I ever got, almost. The tattoo that I did end up getting, I came across a bad Jose by the name of Prophet Harmon, uh, and I wanted to get some uh, Mari tribal tattoos, and the homeboy hooked up my arm, homeboy hooked up my chest, homeboy hooked up my other arm, and now I'm ratted and tatted, and this peck right here, He's moving back in about mm, two months, something like that, and you best believe I'm gonna finish the job, baby, and it's gonna be good. Anyways, don't need to be long-winded. Hope everyone's a great day, having a great day. Vincent Rose, the Fat Killer with H2G Fitness. The future is bright. Something good is happening. You guys take care. Be blessed, over and out. Make your tank bigger mentally. It's in your hands, and do not stop moving until you've accomplished your goals. Peace.